Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-month financial reading from Island Girl Tarot. Pardon me, this will incorporate <clears throat> mid-December to mid-January. Um, let me see, I am using the Rider Waite deck, just the traditional today. If uh, you would like a private reading, it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. Let me see what else. Um, I am booking up. I will be leaving Christmas Day and kind of out of pocket for several days. Um, but if you need me, please email me. We can see about it. Oops, oh no, arranging a reading. Hang on. Okay, well, that's a good shock to the cards. All right, I know my hair needs to be cut, you guys. My hairdresser has had nerve damage to his hand and uh, has not been able to cut my hair since, like, July. So I am aware I have split ends up to there, but there's not much I can do about it. With that said, I'm going to quit throwing the cards around and concentrate for a second. <clears throat> well, Capricorn, it looks like, uh, Hang on just a second. Let me do this this way. Do, 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 do. Okay. It would appear that all of this has been about a decision. Uh, let me see what this decision. This has been, ooh, okay, Capricorn. Let me see. Um, And, you know, the reading just it starts with the first card, right? And so to me, the first card is the uh, Five of Wands. And I know traditionally I say that this is a card of working together, and then all of a sudden all these rods come up and they make the pentacle. And you can actually see these guys are just talking to each other. They're really not fighting. They're trying to figure out how to do it. Um, the center of the reading is the Two of Swords. And that's definitely a decision. This looks to me, because there is the Five of Cups also um, and the Three of Swords, which tells me that there was deep regret and deep sorrow and a lot of conversation, a lot of um, a heartbreak, but it gets better. Do not despair. Um, so whatever, and I know I said this is a card of working together. Uh, typically, this can also be a card of competition. And I almost think that maybe, you know, you were working somewhere and there were other people doing what you were doing and you just thought, you know what, I can go do this on my own. And just made the decision to walk away uh, because you do have your, your two opportunities, you know, behind you. Um, but it was with a lot of, lot of consternation shown with the Three of Swords here. Uh, as I said, this is, you know, this is just a decision this is a decision about a separation of some sort, a parting of the ways. Um, but right after that parting of the ways, or maybe because of it, because it's sitting right underneath this card, is I think you had an offer of some sort. Um, and it was actually a chance. Uh, it could have been with somebody that you used to work with, because the judgment card is you know, rebirth, rejuvenation, re, you know, it's, it's re, it's revisit, it's, it's, uh, rebirth, um, you know, it's a regeneration. So it is possible that you've gone back in your past and, and, uh, restarted a friendship with a different coworker. Although it is also very possible, Capricorn, that you just chucked it all and decided it wasn't worth it. And, you know, decided to follow a spiritual path um, and, are, and are being more true to yourself. As far as the financial end of it, it looks promising. Um, 
The Ten of Pentacles is your outcome card. Let me see what the bottom of the oh, see the bottom of the deck was the High Priestess. Um, so that's saying to follow your intuition. And again, if this is a you know, there are so many people, especially in their mid forties, that are being thrown out of their jobs because of their technology. Uh, you know, because of technology, some sort of automation. You know, now they're talking about doing away with. fast food jobs and replacing them, you know, with uh, kiosks. Um, so I just really think that whatever you're doing, you're following your spiritual path. Your answers are within you. Um, this is definitely something I do believe you're on the right track. And eventually with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, you will make some money at whatever it is that you decide to do. And, you know, I, I feel like I say it to one sign at some point every month, but if you have been displaced in your job and you're sitting there sending out your resumes, open up an Etsy shop. There is something that you do. There is inherent talent that you have. I don't care if you can help people with their taxes. I don't care if you um, can tutor somebody. Uh, if you can carve wood carvings, make sailboats, whatever it is, you have, there's something that you love to do and that you really enjoy, you know, making, um, you know, I just, for some reason I saw making pipes or, or some sort of like uh, flutes or some, you know, some sort of symphony instrument. Um, people will pay dearly for something that they think is a one of a kind. I mean, you know, they don't have to know that, well, this is your first order, <laughs> right? Uh, but just do whatever you enjoy doing while you're looking for your job. Try not to stress about it. The uh, high priestess uh, says that listen to your intuition, and with the ten and the six of pentacles nearby, I just really, really think. Uh, that whatever it is that you decide to do, you will make money at it. Um, and you could possibly build a business. I mean, you know, to me, the six of the six of pentacles, yes, it's a card of charity. It could be that you go to somebody and they help you. But I see it always as an employment card as well, as literally and figuratively a, a card of employment. Um, now, I understand these people, they are begging, but... You know, back in those days, you did your work and you still had to beg for your pay, right? So, uh, you know, it could be that, he, and again, if you are in the Ten of Pentacles position, don't forget to be generous. This is this is definitely a card of generosity. And as I said, it could be that, you know, you went to somebody uh, perhaps for a loan to, to be able to walk away from whatever this other situation was. Um, or maybe you'll go, you know... When I say start an Etsy store or something, what you need to do is figure out exactly what your fixed expenses are. Find somebody that you know that has a little bit of money that knows what you do on the side that really likes what you do. And see if they you know, say, look, I just need somebody to pay my bills for a couple of three months. I'm not looking, you know, to be extravagant. I just need my basics covered while I build this business. And because you know if you've got it a commodity to sell, you know it instinctively that you have a commodity to sell. So with that said, Capricorn, I hope you guys are having uh, a great December. Happy birthday. You guys will uh, start the next round of birthdays. The sun's coming into you guys here in about a week or so. So I hope uh, you guys enjoy the beginning of your birthdays. I will. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do between now and the end of the year. I've got a lot of things that are fluid. Uh, I'm going to try and do a little bit of live reading New Year's Eve off of my Facebook page, Island Girl Tarot. I will also be 10.30 Saturday morning, Island Girl Tarot, to do a live chat, you know, um, where if you guys are in my chat room and, and just, you know, ask a question, I'll pull a card, one card for each person in the room. I've done it the last two or three weekends and nobody's showing up, but I mean, I just, and then I, you know, I'll get, oh, I missed you, and I'm like, well, so maybe what I'll do is... Maybe even if I just leave my phone on and just come back and forth because I'm just here in the house. But, I mean, you know, if I sit there, I, I can only draw for myself and, you know, for so long. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I'm sorry I didn't mean to ramble there. Take care, Capricorn. Hope you guys have a great 
uh, December, January. Bye-bye. Thanks for like, share, and subscribe, Island Girl Tarot.